I look at Instagram for realtors in three ways. Number one is posting your actual feed, something on your feed, right? Still image or a video. Hey, here's what's going on in the property. Here's what I just noticed. Here's something that just hurt a client and here's how I fixed it. And if you have anyone who's going through this, let me know. It's a way for you to show beautiful images or ugly images. Guys, you can show nasty mole or cockroaches, right? You can, it's gonna get attention. It's gonna tell people, hey, look at this. This is a guy or gal is a mover and shaker and they're practicing real estate. So that's number one. Number two, and while you do that actually, you, you should probably be thinking about hashtags, but number two is the stories. There's stories at the top, Instagram came out with stories, you can now tell your story, and it, what's nice is it's all about the attention. You want to grab attention as a realtor using Instagram, and the way to do that is to constantly post throughout the day. What I mean by that is, the more that you post, it's gonna show as the most recent person who actually posted, and it's gonna be the first one that your, your audience will see, and so if you're at the very end and you have somebody who follows 300 people, 500 people, 1,000 people, you may never get seen. But if you're constantly posting throughout the day great content, not good, great content, then you're going to show up first. Now the third is to use hashtags on Instagram. Not use them, use them for searching, right? Go and pull out hashtags that are highly used in the real estate community and see what people are talking about. You may find someone who's looking for a home, house hunting in your area that might be a potential buyer or a potential lead. So um, I think those are the three things I'd be looking at with Instagram. I think you should play with it. I think you should be posting. I think you should actually be doing stories. And I think you should be using search as much as often. So when you're you know, relaxing and waiting for an appointment or you're, you're bored or you just need about five minutes on social media because we all know that you're on there, that's what I would be doing if I was on Instagram. <laughs>